Hi guys, Amy here with Motorcycle Superstore. Today I'm here with Jason Thomas, and I have the pleasure of getting to know you a little bit better. We've gotten to check out the new gear line, um, and you've been with Fly in some capacity or other for quite a while, haven't you? Long time now, yeah. Never dreamed it'd be in this capacity, but yeah, it's been a it's been a long and great relationship. Okay, so how has that evolved over time? Well, really, my first uh, you know introduction to it was just on the racing side. A uh, team I was racing for 15 years ago almost now was uh, struck a deal with fly racing in kind of a, in its infancy and uh, I really didn't know much about it at the time. Um, began wearing the gear, it was just a team sponsorship which I, which I was a part of and uh, over the years that continued and got to know the people there better and you know we've it's turned into more of a family than anything and um, you know as those years progressed of racing I kind of expressed that I wanted to continue that once my racing days were done and in those days that we never knew where that was going to go and that day you know came and went and I transitioned into the position I'm in now. So how has it been moving from being you know on the bike pretty much every day to doing what you do now? It was a pretty big change at first. Uh, you go from completely setting your own schedule and you know if days you wake up and you're tired you take the day off you know uh, where now there's a lot of responsibility and people counting on you and uh, you, you need to produce sales and, and run a brand for a company. Uh, so that's just a completely different environment and expectations and uh, you know you still have your goals. Uh, they certainly are a bit different dynamic um, but as far as that goes now that I'm comfortable in this position there's a lot of uh, a lot of similarities. You just have to figure out how to how to structure your timetable and all that stuff. And how are you staying involved in the racing side of things? Yeah, that's the fun part is, is obviously, you know, fly racing consumes my life. Um, but I found ways to incorporate uh, some, some media writing. Um, I still go to all the Supercross races, uh, you know, from January to May. Um, you know, fly racing is a big sponsor of the Outdoor Nationals right now, so heavily involved in that. I uh, do some TV and video stuff at times for uh, NBC Sports, which... Uh, runs the broadcasting for the Nationals. Um, so a lot of different uh, ways to get involved. Uh, Pulp MX, a big, you know, the biggest radio show in motocross, a um, uh, big part of that as well. So, you know, all these things we try to try to get Fly Racing's name out there through these different mediums, uh, which works awesome. You know, it gets a bit overwhelming time-wise on me and, and workload, um, but, you know, as long as we're helping to project Fly Racing and get people more familiar with what we're trying to accomplish, then, hey, that's, that's what we're all about. And so since you've been around Fly in, in one capacity or other for so long, um, how have you seen the, the brand and the line and the gear evolve over time into what it is now? Well, that's, you know, that's the funny part is that I, I was there in the days when, man, it, it was rough. You know? and, and when I had no emotional investment in the brand, I, would, I didn't hold anything back. You know, if, if the product was bad, I would tell whoever I needed to tell that the product was bad. And you don't want to offend people, but you're also trying to help them progress too. Uh, so in those early days, it was, you know, they were learning and they were trying new things and trying to uh, build quality and do these things. And, and it was a progression. You know, it wasn't an overnight process. It was a lot of learning and a lot of uh, sleepless nights by the design team and a lot of feedback from our, you know, the past riders and current riders. Uh, and we're still in that process. Every day we wake up and, and we think, how can we improve upon the product we have today? And that's a, it's a big step, you know, a year later, maybe we have a big improvement, but it's one long progression to where hopefully, you know, and, and I feel like we're there now, but hopefully we wake up and everybody looks at our brand as having the best quality products, you know, in the industry. All right. So obviously you've transitioned out of racing, but are you still riding at all? I do. Um, you know, we ride at the office. That's the great thing about Western Power Sports and Fly Racing. We have a track at our office. So nice. lunch hour after work, we have ride days. I'll go ride. Um, it's not as much as before. Obviously, that was an everyday, all day type thing. Uh, but I do get to get out and, and I'll do some exhibition races and stuff like that as well. Very fun. And so, be honest, tell me, what do you ride in? Well, fortunately, I get to pick and choose and have a little bit of everything. Um, and I have, I wear different things for different reasons. Uh, I really like the Evolution 2.0 because I think the BOA fit is unparalleled in the industry. So, I really like that. Uh, and I like to play around with it and mess around with it. Um, the light hydrogen is a little bit more geared towards my personal taste where it's super lightweight and we built that for the Supercross guy specifically so that was me so I feel like that's what works best for me and was intended for me uh, but I also love the kinetic because for years when I was racing 
the teams that were on were, uh, the kinetic line was aimed at us. For whatever, the, you know, the marketing purposes that went on at that time, they said, okay, Jason Thomas is gonna wear kinetic. And that went on for years. So I, I feel really, really comfortable in the kinetic line. And it has changed a bit over the years, but it's still the, the basic fundamental design that we've always kind of went after. Uh, so that, I feel very comfortable in the kinetic. So I know I'm a bit lucky or a bit more fortunate than most people to have everything in my gear bag to wear, uh, but it really it depends on the day and I can find different uses for different things. Right, so it just depends on where you're riding that day, what right. you're doing. That right, yeah, and if I'm gonna go, uh, if some of the fat, local fast guys are gonna go ride and I know I have to go fast, I'll probably take my white hydrogen stuff out to try to go fast. Uh, but if we go riding in the, in the hills behind Boise, there's a great trail riding. I'll either take my Evo or my Patrol XC. Um, so it really depends on the aspect of it. And then if we're just messing around at lunch or whatever, I typically will wear Kinetic. So it, honestly, that, I know that's a kind of a, a silly answer and everybody's like, oh, he's just trying to cover all the lines. But it's really not. I, if Depending on you know the purpose, I'll, I'll wear everything we have. Yeah, and I think a lot of guys have variety in their gear bag, depending yeah. on what it is that There's they're doing. There's so much riding that goes on these days, so many different disciplines of riding. Uh, the great thing about our lineup, and I'm biased obviously, but we have something that's purpose-built for any type of riding you want to do. So if you had to pick one item of the new the new line, the 2017 line, you get to pick one, what's your favorite? To wear. Um, if it was going to be for me to wear, I think our F2 helmet is is just it. Um, it's you know, helmet safety is obviously such a huge thing and my helmet, my head's already ugly enough, so I'm trying to keep it at least intact. Uh, so with the MIPS addition to the F2, that's probably my pick. As far as a favorite um, item to, that I'm excited to get to the marketplace, I think our new Kinetic Elite helmet, uh, just the look of it, the price point being an entry level price point, the graphic, completely new shell, I, I think our design team knocked it out of the park with that and I'm excited to go sell that because I know it's going to be so successful. So yeah. it gets a little jaded in how I answer it, but uh, different reasons for you're it. A you're a little tainted, but that's okay. Yeah, we'll it's, allow it's, you. It's, hard to, it's hard to keep those two different aspects out of each other. You know, sometimes I, I really love a colorway and graphic, but I don't necessarily think it's going to be that popular with everyone. Uh, but then there's another one where I just, I know that everyone's probably going to love it. It may not be my personal taste, but it's like, that's going to sell really well. So I get excited. So different reasons for different things, but that's what makes it fun. I get to take my racing side and take the sales side and kind of mesh Bring those. It together. Yeah. But that also means you're spending more time with the gear than anybody else would really. So you know it and you, and you know the riding side too. So, you know, you're going to have that authentic perspective. Yeah. And you know, like sometimes it gets a little personal, like I'll, we have disagreements with the design team and, and trust me, no product is a is a baby to a person like a designer. You know, they created this thing from the ground up. So you really have to be careful with how you critique things. Uh, but on my side too, I want to sell it and I want to be successful and, and help the brand and do all these things too. So that's a, it's a really fun, complex conversation to have. Uh, I tell you what though, it's some, like I said with Kinetic Lead, those are easy conversations to have because they love it, I love it, everybody loves it, now let's go right, sell it. Right, everybody's happy, yeah, but that exactly. doesn't always happen, right? No, no, <laughs> unfortunately, and, and that's the nature of anything. When you have a line as wide as ours is, it's impossible to for every per single person to love every single item, but that's how we grow and progress is you have different opinions and uh, different feedback. Otherwise, if everybody agreed with everything all the time, there'd really be no progression of anything. So how do you see yourself evolving within the, the brand as you continue forward? Well, you know, the first days were learning. Um, I, you know, I was very green to it, didn't know the ins and outs of uh, how that business was run or really big business in general. Uh, so that was a big learning process, which it, it, I'm still ongoing with that. Um, I feel like I'm light years from where I was uh, in that process. But, you know, as long as our brand continues to grow, I just want to be an integral part of that. Um, however, you know, our, our owner, Craig Shoemaker, feels that I can be uh, the best value and, and give the most back to our brand, I'm all in on that. So um, certainly I have goals for where I want myself involved in the brand and where I want the brand to get to. Um, but at the end of the day, as long as I am contributing to that process, I'll do whatever's asked of me. And what about the brand itself? Where do you see it headed? What's the future for Fly Racing? Well, I think our, our curve uh, has been incredible. You know, I, I haven't seen many companies that have taken uh, the level of growth that we have in the past few years, and that all snowballs. Um, the quality comes up, we get, you know, incredibly, incredibly good riders on the track. Um, you start to win over hearts and minds as far as people wanting to wear your product. And uh, I tell you, it's a great feeling when I walk around the races these days and I see people wearing fly racing stuff. They went out and bought it. They chose to buy, buy fly racing, whether it's a, a t-shirt or a hat or a motocross gear or 
uh, what have you. It could be anything. It could be our XE Hydro Pack, XE70. Um, that's a great feeling because you know no one paid them or gave that to them. They went into they went on a motorcycle superstore. They went into their local deal. Wherever they went, they chose to buy that product, and that's what it's all about. We want that person to choose us, and we put all this work and our hearts into this thing to build the best product we can in hopes that they will choose us in return. Right, and it's like authentic validation of what you're building up. Of course, yeah, and, and uh, you know us in the office, our hearts are all in this thing. Every you know every breath we take is is in hope that we are improving uh, our our level in the industry uh, but you really never know where you are you know the only way to reflect that is you just talk to random people that uh, they have no idea who, who I am when I'm just walk up to them and I, I ask them about the brand and that initial reaction is you're scared a little bit scared of it uh, because you know in the past it hasn't always been the best but it's really encouraging now to hear people say oh man your stuff's awesome the product doesn't fail it looks great and you hear all these things you're like oh man that's so rewarding and yes, of course, we're all there and we're working and it's a job. But on that side, it's so rewarding to know that your all your efforts are paying off in that level. Right, and to be a part of the evolution and growth of the company and to you know be through that. Yeah, it's it's one of those things where our our, our company is family owned and we're all kind of in this together. And we all have our assignments and our own um, you know assignments and, and interests at heart as far as how we contribute to that. But at the end of the day, everybody stands back and looks at this huge machine that is fly racing and says, we're all an integral part, we're all doing our parts, but the end goal is for everybody to move forward together. And you can really see that, uh, whether it's just you're standing back on and looking at a, an item, a picture of an item, and you see the look of it, or if you're actually out riding in it and feeling the performance of it, um, you can really see the, the, the dividends paying off of all that work. Yeah, and you can see it even in you know, the new gear collection. It's exciting to see how they're innovating continually. Right. You know, it's, for me, it's a long time coming to get to like the 2017 line uh, because you know, I've been seeing this stuff for a really long time at the office. We've right. made improvements and changes, and I don't, like, I don't like that color. We need to rethink this or that. Um, and then you finally put everything into production and then it's months and months and months before anybody else sees it. So I remember when we were going through the approval process and all that stuff, it seemed like forever ago. And then you finally get to the point where you can show other people and that, that's a rewarding feeling because all of these things that you've, you've been so excited about for you know, six months or longer, um, you finally get to show that to the world. Awesome. Well, thanks so much for sharing this with us and your story as well. Thanks. Appreciate it.